In this week's video, we're going to give you a glimpse behind the scenes of what it's like to be full-time RVers for a week. We're going to show you what our experience at this campground for the week where we've had to manage our, our water usage and entertain ourselves. Um, this happened to be Christmas week, so it was a little bit different for us. We didn't really go out and explore as much because there's a lot more people out and around and we really didn't want to get mingling in the crowds. But we still did some things. Right, and we did have quite a bit of rain, so that kind of limited to us actually wanting to go and do something. Right, but let's show you the video and then we'll come back at the end of it and tell you a little bit about the campground. Don't you want to get a treat? Come on, get in there. Go. Come on, go. So what's up today? Uh, laundry and Walmart. Albertsons and Ulta. <laughs> oh, okay. Before the monsoon rolls in. More than I bargained for, I guess. Same time. You know, go to a laundromat with multiple machines. Yeah, we went to a really nice laundromat. It's pretty crowded though. Yeah. And this is a nifty clothes rack. Do we get this from Airstream? No, you got it. You it was on Airstreamatics and you got it. On Amazon. Well, that's right. Someone suggested it. Very convenient. What's the name of it? Brabantia. B R A B A N T I A. Yeah, it just hooks into the window. Yeah, it mounts nicely to the window. We also did our grocery shopping and got that all taken care of, so we're stocked up for the next few days. One thing with uh, you know living in an airstream full time is. You don't have a ton of storage space, especially in the refrigerator. So we tend to need to go to the grocery store a couple times during the week and pick things up. So we don't get as much at each trip, but you know, we still have to get it, get it, I guess. You guys out for your evening walk? In the evenings, we always take Monty and Zephyr for a walk. Usually right after we eat and before they eat, we walk around the campground or whatever. Tonight we're gonna wander on just a little bit of one of the trails around the campground, not very far. From our walk it was a little longer than we thought the trail that we took that I thought was just gonna loop around the outside of the campground actually went all the way over to the visitor center and then we had to backtrack on a different trail over to back to the campground so it was a little longer walk than we expected probably 
another 10, 20 minutes more than we really would have thought for today. But we got a little bit of a trail hike and it was very scenic and the dogs enjoyed it. Now we're just gonna head in. Usually our evenings are, you know, watching the local news or watching the evening news and, um, you know, checking out some, you know, TV shows on Netflix or whatever. And then we read a little bit and then turn in for the night. So we're gonna do that and we'll catch you tomorrow. They say in Phoenix that they get over 300 days of sunshine a year. Today's not one of them. It looks like it's going to rain all day. It's been raining since middle of the night at least. And it's raining now and it's what, after 9 o'clock. These dogs need to go outside for uh, that's what we do when we don't want to get them all excited. We just do our fingers like this. Which I think they understand now, too. I guess we're going to have to get the raincoat out for this one. Well, we waited for the rain to stop. It doesn't seem to it's going to. And these guys need to at least get outside for a couple minutes. So we're going to do this in the rain today, guys. Now, we need to be quick. This isn't going to be a long walk. Remember, you guys are chows. You don't like getting your feet wet. It's a chow thing. I'm over here. <laughs> Alright guys. Ugh. Come on, Zeph. Come on. Uh, it is not a nice day out there, huh? Let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Monty does not like getting dried off. Mostly he doesn't like people picking up his paws. You know, I could have used my dry suit. <laughs> if I wouldn't have gotten so wet to get it out of the back of the truck, I would have. The pants part of it, at least. Monty, are you dry? No. no wet, I know. Charles. I know, you're all wet. Oh. Nothing on us. Right. 
decided to go for a little ride on Christmas Day. And we had read that Lauren Green, who was one of the stars of the old, well, 60, was it in the 60s? Series Bonanza. We found out that he actually built a home in Mesa, Arizona, which is a replica of the Ponderosa, which was featured in the series. So we decided to go out and see if we could find it. Yeah, I don't think the original Ponderosa was on a golf course, but that, that might be the one difference. But, you know, if it was, you know, it probably eventually a suburb built up around it, and, you know, it could have looked like this. This is a Butcher Jones recreation area in the Tonto Forest, and this is right on the Suero Lake, which is dammed up from the Salt River. And there's a lot, looks like a really nice recreation area. There's some boats out there. You can bring kayaks here and launch them off the beach. Um, kind of a neat little place. It's all kind of nestled in these mountains behind me. Don't know if that water is very warm. We haven't stuck our fingers in it yet. Diane's giving me a look like she's not going to stick her fingers in the water. Another stop along the Salt River. This is the recreation area. Um, it looks like at some point along here there's supposed to be tubing, and uh, but we decided to stop here and take a look at the river and the beautiful mountains in the area. Well, today we're heading to Ikea. We don't... In Tempe, Arizona. Yeah, we don't have Ikeas at home, so we thought we would check them out while we're on our trip here traveling. And if we see something we like, we'll have to find one near home and take it home with us. Or we can order online. Well, that's that. And have it delivered. Oh, that sounds easier. Yeah. Okay. Arizona, in Tempe, Arizona to be exact, we usually try to stop at Ted's Hot Dogs. And for me, the significance of it, not only do they have great hot dogs, but Ted's Hot Dogs actually originated in Tonawanda, New York. And if you're familiar with the area around Buffalo or a native of Buffalo or the surrounding areas, I would say maybe even as far as Rochester you visit Ted's whenever you go around the Buffalo area. There are several locations and um, yeah and I guess from what I heard when the one of the owners or the founders of Ted's Hot Dogs retired he retired to the Phoenix area and thus he built this location. The only one in Arizona or the only um, one that's located anywhere outside the Buffalo area. Yeah. So, yeah. But like I said, 
They have great hot dogs. So our, our daily routine when we get up in the morning is we, we usually have some breakfast, uh, and that varies to maybe we pick up some muffins the night before or a granola bar. We're not coffee drinkers, so we have iced tea of some type. Diane likes green tea, I like black tea. So we usually have some of that in our um, glasses. And then once we've done that, we've watched a little bit of the morning news, <clears throat> I usually make the beds uh, my first thing to do, my first chore. So I'll make both of the beds up, and I do that because it's a little bit easier for me to do that than Diane. And we have these Betty's um, bed sets, and they just zip. And you could, you could almost just make the bed like this, you know, and you'd be done. But I do like to kind of make it a little bit neater and tuck it in more. So one of the things I'll do is I'll grab this edge of the mattress and just pull the sheets over a little bit and tuck that in. Then the same thing over here on this end, I'll pick it up and tuck it in here. Put the pillow in place. There you go. Bed's all made, ready for the next uh, night. Or do Diane's bed for her. Um, and then I'll, get my, I'll take my shower and then I'll go out and take the dogs for a walk. And while I'm doing that and Diane uh, gets herself ready for the day, it kind of gives her some space to kind of spread out and do what she needs to do. We'll come back, the dogs will get their breakfast, and then uh, they'll go outside for a little bit or something while we just kind of vacuum up the dog fur. So that's pretty much our morning routine, right Diane? Yep, that's what we do. Okay. Well, I guess I better get going on the other bed here. Probably one of the best located of the regional parks. Um, Apache Junction is three miles down the road or so. So that you're really close to a lot of everything you need. Stores, restaurants, um, laundromat. laundromat, all just down the road. Um, which is nice because we took, took advantage of all of that stuff as you can see in the video. And it's also, this is an area that we're familiar with a little bit. Though it's been 20 years since we've been here. My dad used to live in this area. We used to come out and visit him. Nothing looks the same as it did when we were out here, though. had a different site than we normally have. This site was a poultry site. We haven't had one of these yet. All the parks seem to have some like this. Um, it's a little different because you're right next to the road, so you do hear the traffic going back and forth a little bit more than you would on other sites. And you're kind of more exposed, though our trailer kind of blocked a lot of the view at, um, to the campsite of the site. But it was a nice site. I mean, it's surrounded by shade for the dogs, so they enjoyed it. Yep. And it had a very nice area. And all of these parks, so the view is close to the um, kind of desert scenery in a little bit, so it's kind of nice uh, view here. The, I think that one of the downsides is that all of the utilities are on the wrong side, so you have to have longer cords to reach that. So we had to use two hoses to get to our water, and we would have had to use two 
um, power cords to get to our power connection, but fortunately our Airstream has a connection on the front of it, what they call the generator prep, that we were able to tap into that and didn't need the extra cord. Right. So yeah, all in all, it's, you know, it's equivalent. Uh, the regional parks are pretty much the same. Of course, it's well maintained and um, they do have the host right on site. So yep. if you do have any issues at all. And they're real friendly. They've stopped by a couple times this morning and talked and everything. Yeah. So they're really nice folks. All right, well, let's go. Okay, let's get going. We'll see you next time. <laughs>